and we did uh, a lot of things that made us a lot more outstanding. Uh, first of all, we didn't force any of our staff to get vaccinated uh, with uh, the, the COVID-19 shot, which is much different than the, the bigger banks, which actually forced their staff to get vaccinated. Uh, secondly, uh, when the trucker convoy was going on, uh, we were one of the first ones, if not the only ones, to stick up our hand and say, this is not right, that you're freezing people's bank accounts. Uh, and we were lucky enough that we never had to freeze anybody's accounts. Uh, as, as we soon noted uh, just previously, that uh, it was deemed illegal to actually freeze people's bank accounts. And then thirdly, uh, we're, we're very concerned uh, about people's well-being within our organization and see the constant inflation that, that seems to be worming its way through society today because of so much printed money. And we're making efforts to basically protect our membership and our organization against what we see as constant inflation going uh, forward throughout the years. Uh, hence, why we're at the Bitcoin rodeo and why we continue to absorb uh, gold and silver on our balance sheet as an organization. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the first two parts are, are outstanding. I mean, you're, you're an organization that's standing up uh, on principle for your employees and, and for your, your clients. I mean, it, few did. They just kind of go the, with the flow and the government push. And, and uh, uh, you know, I just really applaud you guys for making that stance because we know the pressure had to be huge. Uh, but the, the difference, uh, that's that's something that takes a little more explaining, but it, it's really important that you're, you're bringing more of a metal-based security, a precious metal-based security to back uh, the assets of your bank. And, and uh, you know, it, it acts as, I guess, a hedge against fiat currency. Can you explain how that works? Sure. Uh, when, when we first started looking at this, I, I think it took me by surprise, and this goes by, way back to, to 2008 during the great financial crisis, where governments around the world basically bailed out all the banks. Um, and at the time, I thought that would be incredibly inflationary. Uh, I, I turned out to be wrong in that regard, just because it was tied up in the banking system. Uh, but this time, when they printed trillions and trillions of dollars in 2020 to give COVID relief and checks out to everybody. Basically, they locked everybody in a cage, stopping production, and gave them stimulus checks. And so I knew that was going to be massively inflationary. And sure enough, we're starting to see it energy prices, housing prices, grocery prices, just about everywhere you look, you're seeing this, this constant burden inflation. And that is because uh, the governments around the world injected massive amounts of currency into uh, society. So now we wanted to be able to protect our membership and our uh, organization against that constant inflation. And you need to do it with a hedge such as gold and silver, which has stood the test of time uh, throughout history that goes and rises during times of inflation. And basically the motto is... Uh, 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 a rich man's suit 2,000 years ago cost about a gold coin. And today it holds true. Uh, a gold coin in Canada has, is a, has a face uh, value of about $50, but it actually has a market value of about $3,300. So if you think about a fine man's suit, a fine tailored suit, shoes, belt, hat if you want, cane if you want, um, it it's, has the same amount of buying power. And so we're, we're leaning on that within our organization to basically protect our membership from that inflation uh, that, that is going to be persistent over the next coming decade.